So we all know about integration by parts. I'll just write down the topic, integration by parts. But in this video, I don't want to talk about integration by parts. Instead, I want you to look at any integration by parts problem by a different perspective. And hopefully you will find that this is a very convenient and efficient method instead of just using the default formula. So integration by parts. I'm sure you remember the integration by parts formula, which in case you don't is integration of two functions u and v with respect to x so u into v times dx is equal to u the first function times the integral of the second function oops this should be v dx minus the integration of and in the square bracket first we take the derivative of the first function so it is du by dx then we multiply this by the term that we already have so this integral term so you see that there is some uh, recursion involved in this formula because um, we are it, it's kind of like a nested formula so you can use this uh, integration by parts to the first level and second level and I'm sure you have done many examples and in this video I want you to look at one example so uh, this is integration v dx and this whole term integrated with respect to x so this is the integration by parts basic formula uh, it looks very uh, nested because of this second term and so let's do this one example um, so the function that I want you to integrate is 2x multiplied by 3x minus 2 raised to the power 6 so this is the function that I want you to integrate and obviously we can consider this as u because this looks simpler and this as v and just apply this formula so let's let's first do this um, so just going by the pattern uh, the first term is u which is 2x multiplied by v dx so integral of v which is 3x minus 2 minus 2 raised to the power 7 and then in the denominator we have 7 times 3 21 and then minus integration of du by dx which is 2 and then integration of v dx that we already calculated it was 3x minus 2 raised to the power 7 divided by 21 so it is 2 into 3x minus 2 raised to the power 7 divided by 21 uh, dx so notice that we already got the first term but the for the second term we again need to apply the integration by parts formula so uh, we'll just do this for this example I think I need more space here so um, I'm going to create a new layer here just bear with me one second okay so for the uh, we got the first term as 2x multiplied by 3x minus 2 raised to the power 7 divided by 21 right and then we got the integration of um, 2 into this term which is 3x minus 2 raised to the power 7 um, sorry for my horrible handwriting but I think you will uh, pick up one interesting uh, learning lesson from this video 21 dx okay so we need to calculate this uh, inner integral so this is equal to just this integral is equal to 
टू बाय ट्वेंटी वन टाइम्स थ्री एक्स माइनस टू ओप्स दिस इज एक्स थ्री एक्स माइनस टू रेज टू द पावर एट एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव एट इंटू थ्री विच इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी गेट फाइव जीरो फोर एंड इन द न्यूमिनेटर वी हैव टू इंटू थ्री एक्स माइनस टू रेज टू द पावर एट सो दिस इज द सेकेंड टर्म दैट वी गॉट एंड वी ऑलरेडी गॉट द फर्स्ट टर्म सो द आंसर इज ऑब्वियसली द एडिशन ऑफ बोथ दीज टर्म्स नाउ दिस इज बाय द जनरल फॉर्मूला दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो द इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स दैट यू सी इन योर टेक्सट बुक्स योर एन सी आर टी बुक्स बट आई इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू अनदर मेथड और मे बी यू कैन जस्ट कॉल इट ए पैटर्न विच इज़ नॉट वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स बट इट इज़ वेरी एफिशेंट it is very organized and it is definitely very useful for your examinations perspective and it's not given in ncert books i don't understand why but hopefully you'll see and appreciate the uh beauty of that formula so or that method method so i'll just show you um i'll create a new page and we are going to work the same example using that method um so i'll just choose the black color yep okay so let me write that same uh question that we were solving again 2x multiplied by 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 raised to the power 6 we need to integrate this with respect to x so this was the original function and we saw that uh, the integral was nested so we had to calculate the inner integral and then we had to take the summation of both the integral so it was uh, slightly difficult uh, but we'll i'll show you a, uh, another method to solve the same integral and this is known as the tanzelin method i'm sure that i am uh, pronouncing the name incorrect but you can just google it it's a uh, tanzelin method and it's not given in your ncert books but i'm sure it's given in some of the uh, reference books and it's taught in indonesia uh, but it's not taught in uh, india at least not in the ncert books so without me talking uh, random stuff so let me just focus on the problem so in order to solve this integral uh, efficiently draw a table with four columns so we have the first column as the derivatives column oops derivatives then we have the second column which is the integrals column we have the fourth col a uh, third column which is the sine column and the fourth column is the partial product column partial product okay so we have four columns derivatives integrals sin partial product and we have this original problem so in order to calculate the integral you need to do this so for the first row it it will be like this so for the this is the first uh, this is u and this is v right this is the first term this is v this is the first term this is the second term so in the derivatives column first row you will just write the function u so 2x and then in the integral columns first uh, row you will just write this function which is v so 3x minus 2 just leave the sign blank and leave the partial product blank for this particular row now this gets interesting now so for rest of the uh, column entries in the derivatives column just keep on taking the successive derivatives so for 2x we have the next derivative with respect to x as 2 and then we will have 0 right and for the integral column we just uh, keep on taking successive integrals so for the first integral of 3x minus 2 we have 3x minus 2 
uh, sorry, this is uh, 3x minus 2 raised to the power 6. So the first integral is 3x minus 2 raised to the power 7 upon 21, right? And then we'll take the second integral, which is 3x minus 2 raised to the power 8. And then in the denominator, we have 21 into 8 into 3, right? Which uh, is 504. And no need to take a successive integral for this because uh, we see a zero here and I'll show you how to calculate the final result. So what we do is we multiply these corresponding terms. So I'll just draw a dotted line. So we multiply 2x times this and then we multiply this by this and the corresponding results you can write in the partial product column. So the first partial product will be 2x multiplied by 3x minus 2 uh, raised to the power 7 divided by 21 right corresponding to these two terms and then the second partial product is 2 times 3x minus 2 raised to the power 8 divided by 504 so I'll just write this down anyway um, 2 times 3x minus 2 raised to the power 8 divided by 504 now for the sign column well we just ignored the first row right but for the second row we take it as positive and then after that we just keep alternating so positive negative like that okay so this this is now very interesting so you have already got the answer now you you might be wondering like uh, what is the final answer you actually have already got it so what you need to do is uh, you need to take the summation of the partial product column and you need to take the signs in account so for example for this particular partial product you will take the sign as positive for this partial product you will take the sign as negative and that's it just add them all up you have got the answer so the answer final answer is 2x times 3x minus 2 raised to the power 7 divided by 21 minus 2 into 3x minus 2 raised to the power 8 divided by 504 so you saw that this uh, method is very efficient by the way just if you just want to compare with uh, what we had earlier this is exactly the same uh, answer we this was our oops this was our first term right and this was our second term and this is exactly what we have here right okay so like i was saying this is a very efficient method you can even if you use the standard method you can uh, use this method to just to verify your results it, especially in examinations it's uh, it's very uh, you know it's very fast and it's more organized you can see uh, instantly like what your final answer would be uh, but the first method is very nested as you can see like we can just go to the deeper levels and <clears throat> we'll just uh, forget what the sign was and what the integral were, was and the whole thing looks very messy but you don't need to worry about that in this uh, organized method again this is called the tanzeline method or also known as tabular integration uh, i don't understand uh, why it's not in your ncrt books maybe you would like to uh, share your thoughts about that and if you want to read more about this method i'll just share a link with uh, this video in the description so um, thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about this uh, tabular integration and do you think that it should be added in our ncrt books or not so thanks for watching this video guys